Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Tutorial. Now, let's discuss how the IR receiver is working. So let's get started. What is IR receiver? The word IR receiver came from the two words IR and the receiver. IR means the infrared light. The receiver, the one who receives. Let's combine the two words IR receiver. Simply it means the one who received the infrared light from the remote control. When I press the button of the remote control, the signal frequency 38 kHz will be received by the IR receiver. You can see the LED is glowing simply because the IR receiver received the signal that can cause the LED is glowing. As you can see, when I press the button switch, the LED is glowing, but when I release my finger, the LED is off. To make the output stable, this circuit must be connected to the latching switch circuit. When I press the momentary switch, the LED is glowing permanently. Unless I press again the momentary switch, then the LED is off. The problem to this latching switch circuit, the output can drive only the LED but cannot drive 220 volt AC. Therefore, the output of this circuit must be connected to the driver relay switch circuit. Now, let's combine the latching switch circuit and the driver relay switch. Before we combine all the circuit, IR receiver, the latching switch circuit, the driver relay switch circuit. So let me explain first how the IR receiver is working. The main component of the circuit is the IR receiver. Pin 1 is the ground, pin 2 is the BCC and pin 3 is the negative output and the model number of the IR receiver HS0038 the BCC is 5 volt and the negative output with a maximum 5 milliamp this is the reason why I need the transistor to amplify the current in order to drive the LED since the LED is 20 milliamp and the output of the IR receiver only 5 milliamp so therefore cannot drive the LED directly. 
and the BC557 is a PNP transistor. The base is connected to the negative output the IR receiver via 51 kilo ohms resistor. So why I'm using a PNP transistor instead of NPN simply because the PNP type with the base N type which is matching to the negative output of the IR receiver. So when the base is connected to the negative output of the IR receiver, the base will be forward bias and the emitter collector will be activated. So the battery releasing the current 20 milliamp to the emitter of the transistor. Some current going to the base which is 0 0.1 milliamp passing through the resistor and charging the capacitor and some current going to the negative output of the IR receiver then going back to the ground. Some current going out to the collector, entering to the lead, and going back to the ground. Also supplied the current to the base of the 2N3904 via a 100 kilo ohms resistor. And this current only 50 microamp and amplify the collector emitter current by 17.5 milliamp. When the base on and off, the collector emitter will be using to turn on and off the latching switch circuit. In case the R1 and the R2 or the collector and the emitter connected to the latching switch circuit. The emitter collector current of the BC557 with a maximum current of 25 milliamp. To ensure the current supply to the entire circuit will be enough. Now, let's combine and connect the circuit, IR receiver, the latching switch circuit, and the driver relay switch as a new circuit to controlling devices. Let's get started. Now, we have three circuits. The driver circuit, the latching switch circuit, and the IR receiver. And this circuit will be integrated as one circuit. And the circuit is used to controlling the devices from the remote area. Simply we call this as a remote control receiver, you can watch my video tutorial about how the latching switch circuit working, how to design the driver relay switch circuit. I just put the link in the description below. So don't forget to like and share and to subscribe to my channel. So guys, Thank you very much for watching my video.